when you touch for too long, you get sweaty. I don't yeah, like sweat. I understand. That. I don't like feeling like I have to control my breathing or like be conscious of my breathing. And oh, I feel like when yeah, somebody's yeah, yeah. on top of me, That's what I'm, I'm like, what the fuck is that? I have to like, but like you gotta live your and own life. I don't life. have time for that. Like, what? like, welcome to from the chat. We have a special guest today, Tiffany. Woo! Hello. Hello. Hi. Welcome, welcome, Tiffany. You nervous? Yes. Okay. Very nervous. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start off. Um, with emotional intelligence. Wow. Okay. Emotional intelligence. What is emotional can intelligence? We, wait, wait, can I we don't... Have, wait, wait. Can we have John guess what it is first? Well, John. well, first of all, can, can someone introduce her? Like, yeah, who is she? Yeah, you guys just went straight into it. Oh, well, Tiffany is our great, great friend, childhood friend, all of our childhood friends. Um, we have known you for <laughs> decades, right? I can say that now. Decades now. Two decades? Yeah, we grew I've up in the same town. them two, like, 10, 11 years, you much longer. Mm -hmm. And oh. Tiffany will have her own show soon. <laughs> so, wait on Stay it. tuned. Boom. And I right, so you wanted John to guess emotional intelligence? Yeah, what is emotional intelligence? John? When you're like smart about your emotions. <laughs> That's that's not I'm a bad answer. Genius, but someone oh, speaking my fucking name. Snap. There that's not go. a bad answer. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. You a smart guy. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't know the true definition of emotional intelligence. Like, I could not read it to you verbatim. But from my own experience, I would say that it's like just understanding yourself and other people and how their emotions can be like, I don't know how to really even explain it. To be That's what I it's said. Like, yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's like, all right, let's say something is making you feel upset. I could upset. show you. Something's mm -hmm. making you feel upset. Emotional intelligence is emotional Recognizing it. intelligence is understanding. Oh, I'm upset right now about this. Let me not act upset on a situation. Being able to control it, being able to see it, pick it up from other people. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're upset, me being able to know, okay, you're upset and trying to find a way to understand it, even though I don't maybe agree with you, okay. understand it, understand that you have emotions no matter what and that, you know, that they're valid and that so, they matter. So if someone has emotional intelligence, is that, um, also understanding that someone else doesn't have it. Oh yeah, I think it's a spectrum. Oh, I like think autism. it's like with any yeah, like autism, <laughs> but like any okay. form of intelligence, you could have like a lot of street smarts or a little bit of street smarts. You could be book smart, very book smart, or you could be like not book smart. And just be all smart. so the same. Yeah, I mean, like me. he no right no <laughs> inflated ego. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. I feel like it's a spectrum. It's some people could be, I feel like you don't have a lot of emotional intelligence. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> get into it. Let's wow. Go. All right, let's get personal, huh? Okay. But don't worry, do I you... also feel like Steven doesn't have a lot of emotional intelligence. We don't do. care about him. No, I just like, why you said me first? You could have started Because I feel like you ahead, will understand me. to like a certain extent and I don't think that that is a part of it. Like, I feel like it's being able to fully like even if, like I said, if you don't agree with a person, being able to understand their emotion on something. Well, you know? John also doesn't believe in therapy. Exactly. That's a perfect. He, he thinks it's a scam. But he also thinks that people can be aliens or reptiles. Well, you describe somebody with a, with so a you're conspiracy on the theorist. <laughs> well, it was it was our uh, mm -hmm. videographer over there told us to make something up. Oh. Yeah. So that's exactly what I did. Don't believe me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so John doesn't believe in therapy. And what, you want to expand on that? Like why you don't believe in therapy? It's all a scam. Why is it a scam? So I, this is therapist that could fix you in a day. No, that's, that's not therapy. Not therapy. Yes. yes. Because, what therapist are you talking there's, about? Because there's therapies about changing the way you think about something that maybe traumatizes the Not necessarily. That's not, that's not therapy. Wait, let him finish what you're saying. Right. Yes, professionals. <laughs> <laughs> and she's able to make you understand. First, like it all depends on how we get to the bottom of it. You get me? Like, what is the, you know, because sometimes it's deeper than what you think and it could go back in time, uh, how you look at certain situation when you were younger or whatever the case mm -hmm. is. So the way she does it is that she makes you change that thought and put a perspective on it. Like, oh, you get me? Well, I, I think the, the in a day part is, I think that's possible. Maybe some people, they're like, mm -hmm. wow, I didn't, I never looked at it that way. And maybe that can fix something. Maybe that can give them perspective. Well, at but least, with other at people, least a spark. With other people, it's going to take a constant, you know, no, you have to, to dig at it. You have to find yeah, yeah, what it yeah, is. I understand. I said, but I'm saying like, it's possible. You feel me? Like, that was just my whole point of that conversation. You know, I like, don't know anybody who's gone to therapy and got better in a day. But like, they don't have, you know. You, wait, I'm, you guys keep mentioning better. You don't have to get better by going to therapy. That's not what therapy is for. 
you could also like therapy is also um, like a coach, right? Like therapy isn't just to get better. Mm -hmm. It's just to be able to handle life or what mm -hmm. you're feeling. Yeah, uh, therapy uh, uh, is getting can, better. That's exactly. not necessarily getting better. <laughs> it's just I mean, they're, they're, explain nothing. Like what the people, better people, is. there has there doesn't that, that, if I have a problem not expressing. But my you don't feelings. have to have a problem to go to therapy. You can just go to therapy to go to therapy. You, people who say you go to therapy to get better is insinuating nigga, so, that something is wrong. Right. I'm not talking. Okay, talking. but like, um, because you because I guess I think I guess maybe better might have like a may, might be a triggering word maybe, but like. Improve, be able to manage. Improve is to be able to manage your emotions. Say synonyms now. Yeah. Okay. What's <laughs> another one? No, no, no. What's uh, another one? No, no, no because like, better better means that you started off at something worse. Well, you did. Yeah, I mean, did. yeah, Stephen, that makes sense. If you cannot regulate your emotions and you go to therapy and you learn to regulate it's your so, emotions, yeah, you, you are have better. To be better. You're at insinuating your that emotions. something is wrong, though. Like if, for example, when you go to the doctors to get, emotions, yo, I'm sorry. So Wait, time, if I don't need therapy, that means um, there's something wrong with me. No, no, I no. Didn't say that. But I'm, what I'm saying is, what? you don't need. So to why have would I need therapy? That's you're proving my point now. <laughs> well, like I, I would say, if you if you don't think anything's wrong with you, and you go to therapy, going to therapy can maybe maintain you as who as you are. Maybe like nothing's wrong with you now. You go to therapy. If something happens to you. You've been going to therapy to be able to well, manage. But we all know the basic of therapy, right? So you go there to speak about something that is generally bothering you. I understand that you say that therapy doesn't make... I don't know. That's the... That's I'm the, saying like the general idea of it. No, so you see, you're, you're, you're every, insinuating every, again that something has to be wrong for every, you to go to therapy. So, but you're just speaking on the 1% right now. What? One perspective? No, 1%. He said, he said, 1%? he's saying that most people, something's wrong and they go to therapy. Which yeah, I would, I would, not, I would, I would probably agree with that. You, know I mean? I don't, I don't you can agree with that, but that's not what therapy is for, though. That's a misconception. Yeah. That's not true about therapy. But, but also, so then, what's therapy for? Also, John's saying that you know, like nothing has to be wrong for you to go to therapy, right? So, does he think that nothing is wrong with him? Like that? He like, is why? Just what is the person? point of going over it if you like, saying do that? Do you that think that you can't improve at like communication or like? But you, you your need, you, but there is a problem there. You get me? So you need to improve it. Yeah, I, I think I think I think um, where Steven's coming from is like, is you're making the person feel like they're bad, like make them feel bad, mm -hmm. make them feel like they're worse. Like even in the like sense that they're injured, you have nobody to sort. speak to, and you want to go to therapy to speak to somebody, you could do that anywhere else. What do you mean? You just go to a strip club and talk to the people. Well, right? I, I, th <laughs> I think I think the problem is like you can talk to somebody and you can work through your problems, right? But that person, who are they to give you any kind of advice? It's mm -hmm. Why would you ask a bread maker about jewels? Hmm. You know also, I mean? what if I go to the strip club and she just charges me more and more money for every word I say? The therapist <laughs> doing the same thing. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, but the difference is the therapist. The therapist isn't going to tell me to kill myself or agree with me. And the you stripper, know what I'm saying? Stripper's gonna the stripper is not going to tell you to kill yourself. You don't know that. Why would she, she kill? Might, because she might. can. Because she's not going to get fired from her job by telling you to kill yourself. Yeah. Whereas a therapist can't tell you to kill yourself. I mean, if they are their own boss, they also wouldn't get fired for telling you to kill yourself. They would absolutely have their license removed. You're going to sue? Yeah. <laughs> You're dead, bro. You're not going to sue? <laughs> Who's going to sue? My, my family. That's I hope. Like, but like you can't. There's like privacy, right? Same thing with a stripper. HIPAA? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> HIPAA does not play when it comes to the strippers. Mm. This, this comes now, I don't know if I don't know if this is going to get deep, mm -hmm. but like, is there... Um, we know, because we're your friends, that you're not a cuddler. Hell no. So is there something there? <laughs> Absolutely. Can, that, can therapy fix that? My mom doesn't love me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Yo. Um, I, well, first of all, I don't like to touch. I don't like, when you touch for too long, you get sweaty. I don't yeah, like sweat. I understand that. I don't like feeling like I have to control my breathing or like be conscious of my breathing. And oh, I feel like when yeah, somebody's yeah, yeah. on top of me, That's what I'm, I'm like, saying. what the fuck is that? I have to like, but like, you got to live your and own life. I don't life. have time for that. Like, what? like for example, exactly. I don't like, so you're, I, you're, why are you matching other people's breathing? No, it's because I'm look, talking about my breathing. Oh. It's like, for example, like I don't like to cuddle face to face for too oh, long. Oh, that's horrible. For too <laughs> long. Because after that, it's like, all right, now I don't like you breathing in my face. I'm trying to breathe too. And I'm trying to like, all right, how are we going to time this? Like, all right, you put your chin down here so I can breathe over here. Like, I feel you on that. Right? You know what I'm saying? So it's... Oh, si de la boca. Yeah, if it's early in the morning, you're like, nah, chill. I don't want to put... And I don't, I don't put my morning breath on you. Never. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Now my shit don't stink. <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's perfect. Oh, that's don't what, he, he don't need therapy. He, he don't need a brush teeth. He don't need Colgate. <laughs> But no, um, I Please. think that me not being a cuddler absolutely 
ties. But there's nothing wrong with that. I know that I don't give a shit if people to have a problem with it. I'm not gonna do it. Um I only cuddle with Seth and Christian. That's it. That's my only cuddle buddies. <laughs> um, but definitely that ties into when I was a child. Like my parents are just not affectionate people, so I'm not mm. used to affection. But it's different because I have two sisters and they are super affectionate. So it's like what I don't like based on what we went through as children, they they crave it. They want it. I don't think I don't think something has to be traumatic in order for you not to like it though. I mean, I don't think, think it's traumatic. Lot, yeah, I just honestly. don't yeah. like it. Because I personally don't like cuddling because I'm usually warm twenty four seven. A hundred percent. I get hot. Start sweating. Yeah, but I'm Science. warm as hell right now, right? Yeah, yeah. I've also been drinking. Kind of hot. Yeah, I'm sweating. I'm like Newman. <laughs> so, <laughs> shout so out Newman, my boy. Shout was out Newman. Um, so, but I, yeah, like, there's some things that like some people would be like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. And someone's like, oh, you gotta go to therapy. I'm like, I just don't. Yeah, I just yeah. don't like that. Like I, just, I, don't, I, just, I just don't like spicy food. Right. I don't have to go to therapy because I don't like spicy food. Preference. Like, I'm not tra- there's nothing, I'm there's nothing traumatizing also, me that I don't like spicy food. Yeah, they didn't yeah, put yeah. hot sauce in my ass and I don't like spicy food. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but like, since you, there's nothing wrong with you, you should still walk into the therapy. I think so, though. I think, I if, think, you, so if, you can, I think if you can, you should still go to therapy. Mm-hmm. Because like, keeping everything in here too, that's like, that can How that about can like making you- friends? It's also nice though yeah. to have an unbiased opinion yeah. of someone that's not going to judge you. Someone friends. that's no, because you can have friends, but at the end of the day, your friends are going to have their own preconceived notions yeah. about things. Like it, if they're a good friend, they're not going to make you feel some type of way about it. But that's not always the case. Like if you tell me what you did last week, and I'm be like, "Ooh, you ho." Yeah, is that being biased? No, 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 that's like that's like playful. Well, it but depends like, how you say it. Here's an like, example. Tone here's matters. an example. I've known you guys for years, right? So the way I tell Steven something. Me knowing Steven, I'm already going to filter it away so I can tell Steven. Absolutely. I'm going to tell Tiffany, I'm going to tell you, I'm filtering it away. Maybe with you, I'm more blunt about it. Maybe with you, I'm not. When you go to a therapist, there is no, like... It's raw. It's, this is how mm-hmm. you... This is what it is. This is how you make kids. And you grow. And you go to you grow your family. You go to therapy, you grow as a person. <laughs> I see what you're saying, Steven. I see what you're you saying. You said raw, so... I see what you're saying. No, no, no. You, you're being philosoph- uh, what's philosophical. What's Philosophical about it. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Yeah. But yeah, but I, I believe that. I believe you can go to therapy. You should go. And even if, if you don't think anything's wrong with you, you should go. I think that's good. Also, you could learn so much about yourself in therapy. So much. Even just like coping mechanisms for when you're upset, when you're angry, whatever the case is. Like, it changes you so much in such a beneficial way, I think. I don't know anybody who's ever gone to therapy and like was like, I fucking hate my life afterwards. Is mm. is the is that breathing technique for stress? Is Do you get tools like that in therapy too? Yeah. Yeah. Cause like you know you you've mentioned the other day like uh if you're stressed or about about an exam or something like oh do this kind of breathing exercise yeah yeah and that helps you that's a form of therapy mm-hmm. yeah so just read books and shit <laughs> read books <laughs> can you, can you, can you recommend a, a book to the people at home yeah um Atomic Habits one of the best books out there teaches you how to be just better at everything you know what I'm saying little little progress mounts out compact soup. You know, bigger success. So, it's a really good book. What was the book again? Atomic Habits. Atomic Habits. Who wrote it? You should, you should, you should write a book. That's tough. You should write a book. I do want to write a book. What's the title? How to. How to? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> How to what? Exactly. And then you got to look in the book. How to what? What is this book about? And you open it? And then what's the first page? Hose. <laughs> and then they'll be like, oh, how to... What? And then they have to to go to the second page. Gardening and stuff like that. Oh, okay. How to garden. (laughs) You get me? And then the second, that's when it starts. And then it's not, then the actual self help part of it happens. Okay. Or you speak metaphorically about gardening, but it's really about yourself throughout the whole book. Mm -hmm. Wow. Done. All right. Start writing it tonight. Um, (laughs) I have a theory about people that are obsessed with celebrities. What's your theory? Oh, I like this. I have a theory. I like this. So you know, so you know people that are obsessed with celebrities and they have like that, uh, they have that, I think obsession is the best word. I can't even get another word on it. Just that obsession about, but it's not like I'm a fan. Mm-hmm. It's I'm a, an obsessed fan. I'm a super fan. Like they see you beyond human. And it's specifically about like, oh, that's my boyfriend. Those kind of fans. When like, this is, this is a, uh, <laughs> like like the, oh this is my boyfriend this is my hubby like happy birthday and cards like stuff like that right mm-hmm. I think people that are like that and people that do that with girls too like oh this is my wife like well, I wouldn't that's... say the happy birthday part but what that's happy... weird too like you think that's weird happy birthday to Drake 
I mean, maybe they re, they may re, repost you. You know what I'm saying? But why? Why, you why want you that? Want Who, cares that? That? What? Who cares about that? Maybe they repost Horny you. Horny know? so. hey, anyway. It's a clout. It's clout, bro. For you, you want um, to stay broke? You stay broke. My theory <laughs> is, <laughs> my theory <laughs> is, I think those people are scared to love a real Ooh. person. They're scared to love a real person, wow. and they feel comfortable loving a celebrity because they know that's not real, and they can never really hurt them. Bad religion, not by real. Frank Ocean. Says who? I feel like you what feel you attacked right now. Like, can no, you elaborate? No, no. <laughs> I'm saying, like, like some, if someone's in love with Bad it's Bunny. A, it's a and bad religion to be in love with someone, someone who could never love you. So, like, if someone who's obsessed with Bad Bunny, or oh, I love him, I'm gonna marry him. They don't really think they're gonna marry Bad Bunny. They don't really think they're gonna they're gonna do they that. They also can't have their feelings hurt. And Bad Bunny can never break up with them. You know what I'm saying? So it's a safe love. It's a safe love versus being in love with, with somebody who who's actually uh, who can never love you. No, just or just loving someone who has control over your emotion. Like now you're out there. Now you're vulnerable. Mm-hmm. This you're loving Bad Bunny or loving a celebrity, you're not really vulnerable. Mm. You know, that's kinda, my theory. I kind of get it. I get that. That makes sense. I like that. Yeah. I don't that's know good. if that's necessarily true. Explain um, on that, please. I personally, um, I'm crazy in regards to Harry Styles. That's the that's that's daddy. Um, Point the camera right above her. My fucking man. <laughs> um, and. In my head, sometimes I really do think that I will be with him, like, for real. And it's not a fear of, like, oh, I can't be loved or anything like that. It's just when he meets me, like, it's over, you know? It's like, it's like why wouldn't he? You know? Exactly. Yeah, 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 I'll get you. I'll get you. Like, I'm that girl. Yeah. Ooh, I don't care. His, his sexuality, I'm not concerned. It's on the spectrum. It's on the spectrum. You know what I'm saying? It all okay. goes full circle. You want to make your case to Harry? Oh no, that, that's something he and I gotta do in in private. Okay. Oh wait. Yeah, okay. 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 Yeah. Me. Yeah, okay. okay. yeah, okay. yeah, Yo, you. Nail you, polish. You're I hear you. Nail polish. You. Um, what do you think about that? That theory. I like it. Uh, honestly, it makes sense. But you know, it's like everybody has their own perspective. You feel me? Some some people just like, like they praise. Like you know, some people Michael Jordan. We look at Michael Jordan as this great. You feel me? But there's an extent. Some people take it overboard, you feel me? And this, mm-hmm. this is how they express themselves. Some people are over caring or over loving, I want to say, and they just do that, mm-hmm. you know? Just looking at it from the other side. You no, know nah, I think I think it makes sense. So, for example, when you take, like, science and religion, mm-hmm. whenever you don't have an answer to, in the scientific matter, people tend to turn to religion, mm-hmm. right? So I feel like it's filling an empty void with something you feel comfortable or safe with, mm-hmm. right? Like, the celebrity does not matter what celebrity you choose, but as long as you love someone who will never, ever hear from you, then you're safe. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or yeah. That's interesting. I really never thought of it like that. For me, I'm just like, he look good as hell. I want to do certain things and that's it. Huh? It was never like anything like that for me. So, But I understand. How do you, switching up a little bit, how do you create uh, boundaries in your life? In your personal life. Oh, I thought you meant with Harry Styles. Oh, no, no. I was like, we got the biggest boundary in the world. His boundary, you're blocked. <laughs> <laughs> That's his boundary. He hasn't met me yet. But, um, oh, wow. Okay, boundaries. Boundaries are hard because when you start to set boundaries, people really take like offense to it. People think that it's like you're trying to hurt them mm-hmm. or... Something along those lines. And that's really never the case. A lot of the times when you create boundaries is so that you can protect yourself and so that you can, you know, number one is you. You have to take care of yourself. So the way that I create boundaries, and I luckily I'm surrounded by so many people that understand boundaries other than my family, but that like can appreciate things like that. And so for me, I'm just like, I can't do this right now. I don't want to do this right now. And that's it. And if they need an explanation, I'll be like, it's just, it's not my vibe. I can't do this right now. My brain is clouded. This is causing me too much stress. This is causing me too much pain. I can't do it. And when that happens, for the most part, I don't have to worry that someone's going to make me feel some type of way about it. And I think just surrounding yourself with the right people. If you have good people in your life, if you have people that love you and are, you know, here for you, they're not going to feel some type of way if you try and set a boundary with them. They're going to respect that. If you don't have people that, that do that, you have to, you know... Cut them off. Um, that's what I was gonna say. It just that tells that in itself, you complaining about it just tells you a lot about the person. Exactly. You feel mm-hmm. me? You don't want people like that on your life. I mean, it's a good thing I don't gotta deal with anything like that. Like what? Because you got no I friends. Just, 
Well, you don't have unpopular opinion, but you don't really. I feel like you don't have to set boundaries because I don't feel like guys are open with each other. I don't feel like guys talk with each other. I feel like you guys already have a boundary, a massive boundary. Mm. But masculinity? Not masculinity. No. I mean, like yeah. guys, like because, guy groups. I feel usually like, you don't want to feel like weaker. Exactly, and that's more so like a societal thing. Definitely plays a part in that, and also just us being like immigrants of like you know very Caribbean what, families. What, what boundary would I need to set if I'm having a conversation with, for example, Christian? I don't know. Um, so I'm a little confused because what I had stated was that I don't have to set boundaries because I don't really have any friends. And when I do have friends, I don't still don't have to set boundaries because I just tell them what it is. You get what I'm saying? Really I nice. guess. I feel like you, you, y'all could be like a little bit more honest and a little bit more. Sure, we can talk to each other more, but what does that have to do with? I feel like that doesn't relate to boundaries. Well, it'll be like, like if I can't tell you something, maybe. Yeah. If I can't, if I like, oh, I can't tell Stephen that, then it's like, all right, what's the, what is that? What, what's going on there? Like, yeah. why can't I, why can't I just tell you? Especially if it's something that's true. Like, oh, why can't I tell you this? Yeah. But I think, uh, so for example, let's say we were talking, and you're like, I can't tell you something. I think between us, I'll be like, damn, okay. Well, I think it ends there. You get what I'm saying? Does that make sense? But why? Well, the well, why wouldn't right you inquire? I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask why. Like, if well, you're going to tell me you can't tell me something, you can't let me borrow $5, I'm like, okay. Like, the worst and thing. And I move the fuck on. The worst thing about people is, well, the worst thing uh, a person can do is that, is like, I wish I could tell you, bro. I have this thing. I wish I could tell you. Mm-hmm. Just don't even say you have this. Like, why are you? That's true. Don't even say you have this thing. I wish I could tell you. Yeah, yeah but it's different. Like, like you, I'm, I'm gonna text Steven. Steven's gonna get a text message in the middle of the night from me. Like, damn, bro, I, f- I just found this thing out. I wish I could tell you. But I think it's different. Have I, a good night. I, I don't. I don't mean it in that sense. <laughs> I don't mean it in that sense. I mean it like, let's say we're playing basketball, right? You pick up your phone and you start like crying or whatever. And I'm like, hey man, what's going on? Like, are you okay? And you're like, oh, I can't tell you. Well, then you can't fucking tell me and I go back to my fucking game and you go home. Well, what would you say? Oh, but, but then you're not even showing concern exactly. about me. You're not you even didn't concerned even try. about me. Well, no. Like, I, what do you mean? How, is, how so? Because you said, oh, you, you can't tell me? All right, yo, peace out. I'm going to play ball. <laughs> if you can't tell me, you can't tell me. <laughs> yeah, no, but like, as a friend. That's the reason that they, 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 you called. No, 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 no. Me and him, I'm, I'm standing next to him playing basketball mm-hmm. or shooting free throws. His phone rings. He picks it up. He starts crying. He st- his phone rings. He picks it up. Starts crying and I'm like, yo, what happened? Like, you good? And he's like, oh, I can't talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, et cetera, et cetera. And then he leaves. Are you sure? The most I'm going to say to you is, are you sure? And after that, it's, it's case. No, no, no. You have to like genuinely offer a safe space. And even if that person doesn't want to, maybe they just want to cry on the phone to you and you you accept that. If they don't want to tell you the details, the ins and outs of it, that's fine. But like, you have to show some sort of- I did, but he no, left. No, baby no. ass interest. That's or not if, enough. Or like- I would have been even, like, what the hell? I'm like, yo, I, I, I can't tell about right now. Your response, which will be the same, could just be like, all right, that's cool. Whenever you- Whenever you feel comfortable, mm-hmm. know I'm here to have this conversation. But what if you never want to tell me? But it, but you offering that olive branch to me might be what I need to get this off of me. Absolutely. That's fair. That's you fair to mean? say. So like you just saying, all right, bro, peace out. And you go play ball. Now I'm over here freaking trigger warning, ready to freaking slit, 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 <laughs> slit, slit, slit. slit. <laughs> I'm like, have, none of my friends care. Make mince you know meat out of your fucking... Sometimes people you know like to ghost people to get something out of them. Sometimes people, because I feel like I'm guilty of that. Like, I'll be like, oh, I feel this way. And someone's like, why? Why do you feel this way? And I'm like, oh, I don't want to talk about it. But really, I want you to show interest Please in tell me. I need it right I feel like now. That's so, I feel like that's so dumb. Like, Well, everybody has that's to not nice. And that's not emotional so. intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> can, wait, can we do can we do the the spider-man thing with the freaking rainbow like emotional intelligence that's, you mean you mean spongebob, SpongeBob. <laughs> what's right what did i say spider-man that's a spider-man yeah no nah, we'll take a take there's no way that's a spider-man that's a spider-man, <laughs> spider-man. <laughs> emotional intelligence <laughs> no it's i like that better spell it out with the web <laughs> or like like disney <laughs> that was good um you have anything else on that emotional intelligence and that I think you set um, subconscious boundaries with each other like like as men yeah like men groups like you won't tell him like oh I don't I don't want you to give me your opinion on this but let's say Steven going back to school and you were you thought it was a bad idea you're not gonna tell Steven that you think it's a bad idea because there's like a boundary set subliminally I get that do you know what I mean yeah mm-hmm. 
I feel um, like that's very until they complain and then they're like, oh, okay, then they'll talk about it. But if not, then like they're not gonna give each other thoughts on something that they don't like. I think, no, but I think I think this is also like personally speaking. I think that between like us three, like me, John, and Chris, I feel like whatever they decide to do, like I'm cool with them doing it because I feel like if they do dig their own grave, they're also absolutely capable of digging themselves out. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe it's because I believe in you, but that's, that's that's cute. But like, if it's someone like that, I like who I don't, to put a name on? I don't want to put any <laughs> put names a name out. on. It. Like who? I don't want to put any names out. But I feel like if I have a friend who's like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna be like, hey man, like you absolutely should not do that because you're gonna be stuck there for the rest of your life. Mm. That's just mm. me though. I think so, that I think that is you say, saying the basketball situation again. Like the basketball situation where you're like. When this person said, "Oh, I can't talk," I can't man, talk I don't about care it. about that. Put a name on it. Who, who are you talking about? Right now? <laughs> He's trying to get messy. What? He's trying to get messy. No, I'm trying to have fun. Okay. <laughs> Period. Stephen, is, who? <laughs> wait for the deleted scenes. <laughs> uh, is can you think of something like that? The like sublimin, like a boundary that is subliminally set or like an example of that but I, I feel like that was uh, an example of, like I wouldn't say anything to you like I would leave get that deeper no, oh, it's so surface know. level you're being wanna, such a guy about this but I want to know level. Yeah. surface level everything is so like like I feel like men are more inclined to get deeper with females in their life that they're closer to because I feel like women already sp- speak right. like emotionally you know like we will sit and have deep conversations one on one constantly how many deep conversations have you three had in your entire life a lot Man, I talk to my mom every other day. <laughs> I don't. I, um, I don't talk. I, I, I don't I think, talk to women because the they're. I think the older we we we're getting, the more of those conversations we're having. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I feel like we had those conversations though when we were younger, but only if they were an extreme. You get what I'm saying? I like, agree. Now we can have like a leisure conversation that's nah, not as nah. deep. I'm when, not like a lot of. I think I had when I was younger. I think I had like two deep ass conversations, and one of them was in the car. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason it was a, it was three of us, and we just stopped to drop somebody off, and something was said, and we just had the deepest conversation of our life. What was like, it about? I don't know. That's how deep. That's how deep. That's we how deep know. Know. <laughs> he got he got to dig back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta deep. go to therapy and get it out. <laughs> you should. I don't think so. Therapy's I lit. So. I'm still stuck on that. On that. It's only like fifty dollars a week. Bro. Too much on what, Christian? Oh, I'm still stuck on on like setting setting boundaries subliminally. Mm-hmm. Like I'm still stuck on that. I'm still, I'm trying to figure out. Nah, I know how to set up a couple boundaries. Yeah, I don't want you to talk to me too often. Yeah, I'm very busy. I'm barely on my phone. I don't want you in my house. Yeah, well, that's not being hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What all you did there was treat us like hoes. Ooh, I don't what. All right, moving on. That's how you treat your hoes. I love all of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what subliminal boundaries setting. I'm trying to think. Maybe like maybe if uh, if I tell you a problem I have with somebody else, and they were they did this to me, like oh they were just they were just they would come over every day, like they were knocking on my door, like and all these things, and I'm telling you that maybe that's me telling you never do that. Yeah. You know. Oh, okay. 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 You know. Yeah. So okay. now you now maybe you don't even think about it. Now now you just like oh Christian doesn't like when this ha- when they do this. So I'm yeah. never gonna do that. I'm that, never gonna go knock on his door. That's exactly what I said. He's like I made it seem like you know I'm very busy. You know what I'm saying? And I was like yo I don't like to text. So now you're not gonna mm-hmm. be texting me as often. Or maybe you're just gonna call me. Or and let, I'm gonna tell you on the phone. Please stop fucking calling. <laughs> yeah. me. Or I to, to, to do I do another one. Maybe maybe this is a little deeper. So let's say we're we're talking about a situation about somebody else, and. And we're look and we're talking about the situation that they were having, and we're like, look at look at this freaking guy, yeah. look at an idiot. He's, he's an idiot, right? Mm-hmm. He's a freaking idiot, right? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, he's an idiot. So now you're like, oh, that guy's an idiot in that situation. I don't want to be the idiot in Christian situation. Yeah. Or just like I, I hate, I hate when people do that. You just tell them like straight up, like, yo, look at this. I hate when people do this. No. Same thing. Uh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that then, and then you have enough of those. Now you're just surrounded by no. I hope you. I or, hope you get out of my life because it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm have too like, many. It's like you don't want that person in your life. You get me? It's like um because you take I, down those boundaries depending on the person. I saw a clip of uh, of Kanye. Right, I know he's going crazy right now, but I saw a clip. Of no, him no, no, he, got, about, he got married. Oh yeah, he, so he hasn't he hasn't he hasn't said a word since. Period. What what, what does Kanye say? One good girl. 
It's worth a thousand of them. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing he was saying was, he said he was talking about children, and when they go to school, that the kid got got on top of a coffee table, and they're like, "You can't get on top of this coffee table. That coffee table's for coffee. You can't get on top of it." Mm-hmm. And he said that that then you start you start creating boundaries for this kid, like, "Oh, they can't do this." Right. And then and then the coffee table was like a metaphor for a lot of different things. Oh, you can't this. You can't that. You can't that. And then by the time you grow up, you are you are surrounded. Everything in life is a coffee table, and you have all these boundaries. So, with that same thing being said. I think in like maybe in our relationship growing up, maybe as men socially, there's a lot of things that a lot of coffee tables are put out there, us specifically for men, so that now we're older and now we're like, oh, damn, I'm surrounded by coffee tables. And now the work Aww. begins of like, oh, like I got to take this coffee table down. Now I got to take this coffee table down. And then that's why that's why now that we're getting older, we're getting deeper, deeper conversations and we're getting to know each other even more now. Maybe that's that. Okay. I understand it. You see? <laughs> all in all. Open up to each other more. And I go to therapy. And go to therapy. Better if you help. can. If you can. You know? FTC. And then we want to do this uh, SpongeBob? You want to do what is it? Emotional intelligence. Educate that's, yourself. That's the episode. Woo! How was that? <laughs>